It is September 1st, 2023, 5.54 p.m., episode 2,262. What did I do like that? I don't know. Anyway, I did this cartoon last night, My keeping up with my Thursday routine of doing Friday's cartoon in the evening. I didn't do that last week in Atlanta. Uh, I had been to that rally thing all day, and just, I didn't feel like drawing a cartoon that evening. And I, instead, I went and had a couple beers and some chicken wings. But, um... So this last night I did this. I was sitting around thinking about this cartoon. Conservatives are all roided up about it, I think, and they're just in a rage. and And I thought about this for this. The student was told that to remove this patch featuring the Gadsden flag, that snake, don't tread on me thing, uh, from his backpack. And then the school, there's a huge outrage about it. The Democratic governor came out against the school for this. The school switched, changed course. But the thing was that they said it had roots in slavery. That's that's their terms, roots in slavery. And it does. It does have some, but it was not a slavery flag. It had just as much roots in slavery uh, as the American flag. Really, honestly, uh, the guy who designed the flag was a slave owner. He took it from a cartoon that Ben Franklin did. Ben Franklin was a slave owner, but it was not about slavery. So I understand that. But I understand where the teachers are coming from. I'm not saying they should like ban the patch, but I understand where they were coming from, and they came off like jackasses. But it, it's not so much as had roots in slavery as it's being used today with racist hate groups. Um, all these hate groups listed in the cartoon, Proud Boys, Oath Keepers, the QAnon, Fucks, the Three Percenters, the Maggots, they love this flag. I saw it at every fucking Trump arrest. They love it, they love it, they love it, and they're taking ownership of it like they did with the word patriot. You know, or it just means opposite or whatever it means. You know, Patriotism is trying to overturn the government and install a fascist oomph and a dictator uh, to these guys. They don't, they're not good with irony. Um, don't tread on me while I try to steal away your votes. You know, yeah. Um, so, but I did it this morning, uh, last night. I posted it this morning because I finished it around like 1 a.m. And then it had some potato chips. And uh, and this morning I wrote the blog around noon. And then I sent, I told you guys I was going to send the other cartoon about uh, the drug prescription prices to CNN. And then after I sent it, I found out that we got the week off. Nobody bothered to tell me until I said, sent them a rough. And uh, and then the editor who responded, she's like, I really like that cartoon, though. <laughs> so I might I think I'm going to do that cartoon. I don't know when, but because I just think it's good. And plus, Laura, my purpose, she really liked it better than the other prescription drug one. I think it's good. So I'm going to go ahead. There's going to be two cartoons on this subject, but separated by this. Uh, shout outs to Tito, DD, with uh, Robert Cortino. He didn't. It's hard to tell the point of view in the last cartoon he said, but Sparky Perry said his point is irony. Yes, thank you, Sparky Bear. Uh, Alex Chavez, comment, and Taro. The water thing has been resolved, I think, but my toilet's still making a weird noise, and I told the landlady about it twice, and he even pointed it at two or twice, and it's just like, but they're not doing anything about it, and they're just not. So if she gets a huge electric or water bill, electric water, uh, well, then that's my fault. Why am I talking about this now, and I'm out of time? Bye.